Oh, hey guys, brought home this Admiral television set, SS-690. This is a tube television. Might, I don't know if it has any hybrid parts or not, but... Uh, got the controls here. Pretty basic set. It's portable, has the handle. There's the Snickers. Broken aerial. It's pretty crusty. It's been in my brother's garage forever. Uh, don't think this thing has been turned on since the 1980s, mid-1980s. So I'm going to pop the back and take a look inside here and might bring it up on the Variac. Okay, we're in. And this thing is pretty dusty. I don't see any transistors. So it doesn't appear to be a hybrid set. That doesn't mean there aren't any though because it's really dusty in there and it's hard to see. Somebody's been in this thing, says Sam's 1335 close to chassis. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure if that tube's gassed out back there or not. That doesn't look good. That'd be a showstopper right there. And I'll check that out. Convergence board. Tuner. I can see a, a tube sticking out of the tuner. Snickers here is going to help me out a little bit. What do you think of that thing, Snickers? The stuff I bring home. There's the tube chart. And it looks like we're okay with this tube. It was just some dust on the top. It made it look white. The getter flash is on the side here and it's nice and silver so that's good I'll check the other tubes out and uh, see if we can power this thing up been letting it bake at 40 volts it's drawing about 20 watts and it's been steady Not a lot of power. The capacitors are still cool. It's been going for a few minutes now. So inch up the power here. Voltage. Hey, it jumped up big time. So it jumped up and kind of fell back. That's going up. I think uh, some Two biasing must be starting here. Running at 80 volts now. I can hear the vertical oscillator running. The output's going. I could even hear a little bit of crackling of high voltage. This is the audio output tube. Getting a little bit of noise there. Okay, we're up at full voltage, drawing a couple hundred watts. Kind of intermittent uh, tube socket problem there. Oh, stickers! And look at that, we are getting a raster.
This TV seems to be working pretty well. I'm going to see if I can put a signal on it. There's no antenna now, but we are getting snow, so we're getting something through it. Well, that's the end of that. I was looking for something to put a signal into this. I don't really have anything that can make an RF signal. And I started hearing this loud hissing sound. And it was this thing uh, shorting out. So it's shorting out from this, I guess it's like a uh, high voltage tripler or something. So that's probably the end of this TV because, you know, I'm not going to be able to get parts. I don't, really don't want to spend money on this thing. It was kind of more of an experiment. But that's what happens. I mean, it's running for like a half hour, producing a raster, produ producing some snow, and then it just arced out. Well, here's the arc over point. You can see where the plastic is cracked and it kind of burned it there. I'll have to sand that and get some of the carbon off. But I put a piece of mylar here and I was going to use silicone to cover that. But all my tubes have hardened. So I'm going to see what hot melt glue will do. At least having something there would make the voltage potential need to be higher for arcing. I just want to see if I can get some sort of signal off this TV. In my junk box I found this old modulator for a computer. Of course the twin lead thing broke off so we we'll have to fix that. And maybe we can get this working. Well there's my redneck repair. I put hot melt on there, a piece of mylar in there, so it would have to travel further to arc to the case. So, you know, that might increase the breakdown voltage somewhat. Don't know. But you never know until you try, right? Working on this RF modulator. So I used the old broken off twin lead. Found some twin lead in my wire box upstairs, so I drilled some holes. You know, kind of use that as a template so I can get this strain relief on there and put it back in. Okay, that thing is soldered in and repaired. I'll just button this thing up and test it if it works. Okay, what will happen? Of course, the heater and the furnace is running, making a lot of noise. coming up coming up to about 200 watts okay well we got it back for now now let's see if I can get the uh, RF modulator to put any signal into it okay I have the RF modulator connected to the TV and I don't know what the voltage it, the thing runs on but I think it was 9 so you can hear it the noise go away as I power it up so we're definitely getting a signal through I just now need to find a video source for this thing I think I better document this while this TV is still working my only video source is my old camera so I plugged it into the RF converter, which is connected to the antenna jacks there, VHF. And you see I have it on, I think it's on channel 3. Couldn't get a picture for a while. I was messing with the tuner. The tuner seems to be pretty dirty. And managed to finally get a signal from the thing and tried to get the best picture by adjusting the controls. 
And look at that. It's actually producing a picture and a color one at that. But it's not a very bright picture. It's not a very clear picture, but it is a color picture. And I, I think it's just a tired set. And here's the brightness all the way up. Contrast. Like I said, I adjusted the controls to try to get a good picture. That's the tint. And the color. It went out of sync there. Monkeying with it. Let me get that back. That's the horizontal control there. Okay. There, staying in sync now. So there you have it, the old vacuum tube Admiral SS690 color television. Thanks for watching.